motorcycle is whatever you want to make it. Turn it on, you can give yourself a real thrill. How's it running? Idaho and it is beautiful up here early spring I'm gonna see if we can get to the top of these ridges here and uh, see what happens anyway I have been super busy lately working on Fixing all of my accounts after being frauded. So that sucks balls. There are really horrible people out there. And uh, it just, it's just life. There are really, really bad people out there. And somebody who steals, I think, should be publicly hung, personally. <laughs> uh, people who steal just they suck. They're, there's no other way to describe it. Um, not to get too negative on this video, but um, it's pretty much put a sour taste in my mouth dealing with this. Basically, they, they had a very in-depth scheme they were pulling to get access to different accounts. And luckily, we were able to put a stop to it just in the nick of time. But now I have to go and redo all of my stuff. So. Just have to move on, take care of it, and uh, move on. Oof, we're already getting into some snowy area. It'll be interesting to see how far up we can get. But I've talked about this in the past, you know, these people who steal account information and whatnot. And what's even worse to me are people who are willing to steal things like dirt bikes, you know, because that's what you've worked to, uh, to get you know that's your extra money you worked tirelessly to pay your bills and get everything taken care of and at the end of all of that you're able to buy yourself a dirt bike as your source of enjoyment and then for somebody to steal that it's like the ultimate dishonor um really makes me angry at, at people who do that, but there's nothing you can do about it. They're going to do whatever they want. They don't have the emotional maturity to care about what you have to say about it. So it's just the way it is. But 
lot of people don't carry insurance on their dirt bikes. So, steal that thing. You just stole their, their leisure. Hopefully they're covered by insurance in some form or another, whether it's homeowner's insurance or whatever. Insurance is definitely a saving grace a lot of the time, but not all the time. getting pretty deep already. Yeah, it's <clears throat> the soft fluffy snow that you just sink right into as well. I'm going to stop right here and see what things look like up ahead. Catch you guys on the next section. Peace. tire has gone completely flat. So, just taking it easy. Trying not to hit anything too hard. I've pretty much gone away from tubed tires, but I put my tubeless on the 450. So I'm going to have to take this in. I think I'm going to run up moose bib in there. Try to help it out. But uh, the steering is very big when you have a flat tire that it has a tube in it. It is really big, flopping all around. The front end feels very heavy. If your front tire goes flat and you have a tubeless system in there, it's really not that big of a deal. You can still track pretty well. It still functions pretty well. And you can ride it around probably all day like that, as long as you're careful. But... This tubed tire really sucks. When it's flat. So I figure as long as I don't go too fast, I won't fly off the trail still wobbling all over the place in the front, but this is definitely the first time I've been on this trail. pretty smooth. I was pretty concerned about sharp edged rocks and I still am. Hopefully as we get into the sagebrush things don't get rocky. It's nothing to blow through a flat tire and hit your rim quite like the sharp edged rocks.
how you ride with that. It uh, it came off the bead. It's it's flopping around. <laughs> we need to go back. Yeah, I wanted to check this out. It's pretty. Yeah. Well, should we turn around? Yeah, we better, Carl. Or if it comes off the rim. Eh. This is a neat little trail that we found over here. I haven't ridden this one before. 